Schon mal bitte, ich die Minister schauen.
mbili uchanje kwa
when you finish writing this, let me know. And then I, I will explain it.
um, go to a place that that is uh, of a different uh, school, maybe within your local school, within your local home, because I think I said some people have said no, but they would rather do it near their local home, their local environment, where they live, a school near the school, where they live. Can you choose it? Yes, because it's not So you want to do it as well? Yes. So twice a day, you just have to do it then do it. So I'm going to tell you what you're going to be just observing. Uh, you observe, um, you observe the documentation that is done by the teacher, for the teachers, for the learners, the team of work, the lesson class, um, the learners book, uh, the, how they, 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 uh, they do the records of work for the learners, how do they enter the registers, the class registers. So you're looking at all the documentation, you're looking at meetings, uh, the meetings that they do. Done, what sort of things we we'll wait for when we we'll start. If you have an opportunity to go to the big staff meeting, attend also. Um, we are also looking at classroom management uh, and arrangement. We are looking at display of the classroom. We are also looking at how the class is arranged. We are also then looking at also the interaction of the, of the teacher and the learner. So, uh, participation of the learners, uh, how they, the teacher teaches the learner. So, we are also looking at the teachers, uh, teachers in methodology, how she teaches, how he teaches, and how the learners are planning an activity. Okay? And then also look at challenges that may be there within the class and uh, how the teacher solves them or how you can bring it to them. But when you are there, I would like you not to discuss, you are not supposed to discuss any confidential information about a learner, even at home, even with anyone else. You go there, you observe. You're not supposed to discuss even the teachers, even the management is there. I hear of it, I will just simply ask you to stop the break. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, whatever you hear, whatever happens there, remains at, at work, which is confidential. We are not supposed to bring any children. Okay? Yes. We are not supposed to. And please don't. Okay? So even this is you just look at how it's done. This is it. What is like that? Please don't correct the teachers. They are not there to monitor the teachers. You, you are still working on your degree. They got the qualification. Whether you are, your qualification is down, you are working in a qualification that is higher than them. That is none of your concern. You are there to learn from them. Don't gossip about the teachers there. Don't gossip about another teacher with another teacher. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. So and so, your students did this, your students did this, your students did this. for our, our yes. work. And then yes. You go to your work, you come back. Even when you qualify, please do it like that. You save yourself a lot of problems yeah. at a workplace. Okay? Yes. It's a workplace, you're there to work. And then when, when you're there, that's the case, I have to teach. And then also for the kids, if you want to tell me, please let's tell me the reason. Just have a discussion with me. Because I'm here to learn. I'm here to learn from you. So that I can do better. So you can use this experience to start finding jobs, part-time jobs, or start look, looking for jobs that you get you employed for the finish. So that is why I wanted you to do it. And also to look at what I'm teaching you. Is that what is happening there? Okay? And if not, how can you make it better? But you're not questioning the teacher. You're not questioning the school. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, you do it for your own knowledge. So, what are the like class second assignment? Um, yeah, because the second, um, the second assignment, no, for this one, I, I, I just want, I will link it to, to an assignment that I have in the I'll add it. Okay. So, it's just like a full me addition to the assignment too. Yes. Okay? Any questions on it? And you both get appropriate. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah. No hanging, no low feet. Yes, yes, yes. And no, it's not a great way that you wear a jacket on top. Yes, yes, yes. Um, a pair of trousers is now depends with the school. Some schools will say you cannot wear a pair of trousers. So it depends ask the school. Do you have a, do you have a, a coat, a dress coat? Uh, some will say no sandals. Some things will be Okay, so ask. Okay? And please don't 
Don't take shoes or foot toes. Don't take, don't take the yamas. Don't take anything. Okay? Don't discuss them at home. Okay? Don't have them. Don't have their phone numbers. Don't discuss their parents. Because that's going to be there to that, right? They are just there to that and to do your work and to come in before. Even when you are reporting in class, you can just come and report here. It's about not even, I don't even want to hear the things that you are ever. It's not right. Okay? So, social awareness of, of children, okay? You are, you are looking at where they fit in, where they, how they identify themselves within the family. Because once you identify, I am a sibling, okay? I'm going to be, we've got only, uh, only child uh, families, they're the, they are the only child, some have got siblings, some have, some have two, three brothers, some don't have, okay? Some are often, because they are going to teach a different group of people. Learner. And this is very important because you need to also create a social profile of your learner. You need to know in your class how many orphans do you have. You need not for you to talk about them out of class. For you to understand them, be able to relate to them and to bring in materials that are relevant to this experience. You need to know how many are living in extended families, how many are being fostered, how many are adopted, how many are in a nuclear family, what setup is there, where do they live, the location where do they live. How far do they travel to come to school? It will also help you to understand when a child is late. There is a distance, there is a long distance that they need to travel. So I need to make some do You also then need to look at know the social status of those parents. If they come with no food, then you are able to understand. Okay? If there is any illness or even the medical condition of the child, you need to know the illness that the child has, the illnesses that that child has. Okay? Because it's going to affect you. If they collapse, without you knowing it, at least when you know it, you know how to do it there. And you know how to do the program. Okay? If they are genetic, you then know that they need to eat regularly. You need to then provide healthy meals at I mean, make sure that there is water that water because of water. Okay? So, children show greater social awareness so they know who they are. They know where they sit. If you ask them where you come from, they will know, they will tell you. Okay, they'll tell you the age, they'll tell you who they are, the age, the settings, who they live with. Okay? And you, they'll know what sort of chores are done at home, some don't do chores, some do chores, uh, chores. Okay? So they will know their way of behavior, even how they're supposed to behave. And the sort of behavior that is expected from them within your class if you don't tell it. Okay? So adults and peers' relationships develop. So they have more, a closer relationship with adults. Okay? Although this one one is to be uh, uh, aware of it, you should be aware of it. Okay? You can, you can, uh, you can actually do your job. Okay? So no inappropriate uh, uh, relationship with, with, with learners, no inappropriate language, even when you go for parents and kids, don't be talking inappropriately with children, even your idle conversation, even, as, even with colleagues. Don't go into a personal life with your people. You don't discuss the personal life with your colleagues because you hear it being talked about it. You keep your personal life at home. Friendships are developed elsewhere, they are not developed as one person. You know what they say, This has been documented by even a, a human resource consultant who is working in a number of, 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 of companies and organizations. Because they are there, they have been brought there to work. They are there to work. Okay? So, personal issues, you don't talk about personal issues at work. Because at the end of the day, we are all there to work. And you are both there, nobody is hiding anyone. You all are applying for the job at different times. And you are all eyeing out for different positions to be in the company, so there is competition. Yes. That is just, I'm just going to want to say that I wish I learned that earlier when I was, when I was starting, when I was starting with work, but I think this is to say that it just come. Due to people that have investigated what relationships work ethics in the team, what works, what doesn't work, and how, and how coaching relationship is, yes, that team activities participate in that. Yes. What has the team? Don't work independently. It's all the structure. Initiate, okay? Be creative, be creative, because they are there to also make a change and impact to where you are. Yes, positive impact. Be, have a positive attitude. Okay? Because
always be teaching is very complex. The relationship with teaching is very good. You are interacting with parents, you are interacting with men, you have to learn how to communicate effectively with parents, learn how to communicate effectively with learners, learn how to communicate with colleagues, <laughs> learn how to communicate with managers. Okay? Learn how to communicate with, with different staff that are not colleagues. You know the auxiliary staff, the cleaners, the administrators, and the They are not part of the teaching team. Okay? So, so teaching is a complex profession because you are working with a lot of different people, with a lot of different group dynamics. So one has to be very skillful in working and interacting. Um <coughs> this, uh, okay, so I have the same relationship will develop, okay? They will, be, they will interact more, they will, um, they will develop like a close bond, a close connection, they will tell you things, they will tell you their fears, they will tell you things about what is happening at home, even personal things, but you are not supposed to disclose, but they are supposed to be in class. And even tell your own learners what we discuss in class, you stay in class, I'm not going to talk about them to anyone else, you should talk about what, what is happening, whatever we discuss in class, please don't talk about it. To anyone who will talk about it to add to, to other men, because what happens is that you stay in class. And then this is about the brief, then you report it, but you are going to talk to the man that I'm going to tell someone, because it's for your safety. You only report, you only say things that are for someone's health and safety. Because the question is, did you learn it? How did you learn of it? And why then? What was the purpose of you saying it? Is it clear? Is this clear? Yeah. So, peer groups are peer groups are important, okay? Peer groups are based on abilities, sometimes on interest. So those who like summer, they might end up grouping together. Girls, in this, in this age, they tend to group according to gender. So girls tend to say, like okay? The boys tend to say, like So, peer groups are important and are set up, okay? Those who like Let's go for those who like school or those who like for a thing who tend to play together. Okay? Children's feelings about themselves are imposed by how peers treat them. Okay? They're very sensitive. Okay? Their feelings will, will change according to how they are treated. So if they are being bullied, if, they, if another man has bullied them, okay? Harassing them, saying inappropriate things. Be little with that, okay? Saying negative things towards that. Maybe taking the life of Because bullying is the very number of things that people are bullied. Okay? Either <coughs> internet bullying, on WhatsApp, putting someone's photo, um, saying things that are not true, or saying things that are confidential, gossiping about someone, that is bullying. So there is cyber bullying. There is physical bullying. When someone is being uh, beaten up, Uh, being punched, being kicked, the lunch box being stolen, okay? Then being neglected, even neglecting, okay? Allowing, trying to get everybody to, to sabotage or alienate uh, that person, okay? That's emotional bullying. When you can get a whole class against a uh, 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 learner and say, do not play with them, do not associate with them, and isolating them and refusing for them to participate in anything. So there is different types of bullying. And even this bullying also even happen at workplaces. Okay? There is no workplace bullying, bullying is there. There is bullying at school is there. There is research that has been done on it. Okay? So, you start teaching these skills because they are going to find them. It's not all workplaces are like that, some workplaces are like that. That's why now there's even, even um, uh, workers' uh, social well being. International companies they actually set up a, uh, a department to deal with the social well being of workers. Workers who become stressed at workplaces, there's actually a department for countries or for countries, they, they offer the trip, they are there, they set up a company. Okay? So, anything that is negative, you say about your child. So, why am I saying this? As a teacher, with this particular age, because they are very sensitive, 
the feelings are determined by what you think that happens. You need to be very positive in every life. You need to encourage learners. You cannot have a negative attitude towards learners. Okay? Because once you start being negative towards them, I, the other learners in the class are going to also behave negatively towards them. They are going to feel lonely. They are going to start isolating themselves. They are going to actually end up with stress. They are actually end up going to be anxious and sometimes end up not coming to school. So there is a lot of absenteeism. There is a lot of dropouts because of bullying. It can happen. Okay? So one, as a teacher, you need to create a positive environment within your class where everyone is equal, where everyone has got an open opportunity to say something. Okay? Within every class, there is group dynamics, there is class in dynamics, where people class in dynamics. They are working with individuals, they are going to be some who are very active participants in class. They are, we are going to have some who are uh, passive participants. But all of them have to be heard. We have to be fair, we have to be strict, we have to be firm. We have to be caring, and we have to be equal. In regards to the social status, so when they go to the lab, Whose mother is a maid, and she got a lad whose mother is a director or, a, or an MP child, minister child. The treatment of those children in that class should be the same. Why should you ever feel that they do not fit because of their class? All children should have equal access to quality education, attention that you are going to give, and be treated with respect and dignity. Because after all, they are paying. Even if they are not the ones paying the fee, someone else is paying that fee. Whether it's a government paying on behalf of that child, whether it's an NGO paying for the, on behalf of that child. The fact that they are that, that school, that school is that thing that that child is fit to do that school. After all, children go to schools that are within the educational area. And then the same thing within that area. Whether they are living in, a, in an employer's cottage, whether they're living in an employer, whether it's a, it's a mansion. <laughs> they are in that neighborhood and that school is situated in that neighborhood. Are you understanding? So they should be treated equal. Okay? Yes. Even yourself, you might go to a school that has got low income. Parents and learners. You might come from a better background. But still, you should treat them with respect and equality. Because as a teacher, that is your role <laughs> to ensure that socially the children fit. Socially, everyone, every member is respected with dignity and respect. And respect them to teach them to also respect you. Because respect is two ways. Yes. You want them to respect you, you need to respect them. So you need to grow hold of that respect. Please. Say please, thank you, sorry when you make a mistake. Yes. And not disclose your faces. Because also when you disclose people's things, they will then not be able to confide in you. So you're already creating a barrier. And it's not effective for them. Because people need to feel safe. Children need to feel safe, need to feel as if they are taking to them, that you care about them. Because it's not about just the learning that academics. It's the development of the child. When you say the child is good, what's the social aspect? That is not on the side But it's your job as a teacher. That dynamic of teaching has always been there. Teachers are always saying that. Besides teaching math, besides teaching English, children are coming with a lot of challenges that are affecting the learning. I have to address those, uh, those challenges. I'm not a counselor, I'm not a social worker. Okay, but they are in your class and they need your help and you need to provide. Okay? Okay, but that's good. So, bullying should not be tolerated because it affects the learning and development of the child. Bullying should be dealt with immediately and you talk about it and you help them come up with strategies of how to approach it. So, learners, there's a, like a researchers say there's a high rate of suicide among children going age because of bullying. They commit suicide. It's actually a worrisome uh, problem that is now within school. 
And the bullying is not only negative, it can be somebody who is good at school. They are being bullied, they actually study too much. Okay? So it's not even bullying sometimes with negative action. Is it clear? It can be bullying with being, being positive. Okay? Thinking different. Okay, so you are teaching them to tolerate and accept other people's things. Okay? This the idea of building so that when they go to work, when they go to university, they are so accepted. So that it is, it is, they don't allow it to happen to themselves. Okay? So the child sense of work and industry increases as they develop attitudes that prepare them for adult work. So they're very, they work hard, they like to do chores, they like to do the work. You give them what in class they'll do, you ask them to do, to pay, to do activities they will do. Okay? It's only when, when the work is not creative, it is routine, it becomes the same, that's when they, they will lack that industrial realization uh, of, of working, because there is not much motivation. Okay? But they want to work, they work hard, they know that there is school to work and, and to, do, uh, to achieve. Okay? So, they will also want to be helpful, they help interested in helping the teacher as well, helping other learners within the class, okay? The major emotions are, or well, these are the emotions that are mostly frequent with school-going age, six to four years. They've got many emotions of love, so they are going to show care for other people, okay? They will ask you, how are you? They will ask the other, the, the, the classmates, what did you do over the weekend? This one is crying. Why are you crying? They will try and come to that person and that person is crying. If they don't have food, they will give them food. Okay? They will show concern and care. Okay? They will show affection. Okay? If a child is new, they will go up to them and, and play with them. Okay? If a child is by themselves, they will try and share with them. Okay? So, they will show now fear. If they if they are in a new environment, a person that comes in a new environment or they are afraid or something is dangerous or something comes uh, within the class, maybe the snake that crawls into the class, they are going to be playful. And that is anger and uh, aggression. When you do something to them, okay? Or if something is done to them by other men, they will display anger, okay? That kid, they will want to fight, okay? So it's no. What fighting is that? It's time to establish it's time to establish the, the self identity. You cannot do this to me. It's not even five years, six years. Someone takes their lunch or some or someone does something, so they want to think so you are taking the thing, don't don't be really it. It's normal. But you have to fight just to the strategy for how to do it properly. Let's share. Wait for your child. Okay? Why did you do it? We have to learn to be self discipline to persevere, to be patient. So these are the skills that you are going to teach. Anger, acknowledge that yes, you are angry. But act appropriately. Okay? And then just discuss these ways of anger out of this. No more yet you recognize. But you did be done in the future. How else could you do it? Okay? So you are also asking you to constantly evaluate yourself. Okay? So they are already well said in the Okay? So most of them, that's why beating is not allowed. Okay? Because if you beat them, they are going to beat each other. Okay? Yeah. Okay? So, and when you also go to beat and use other methods of discipline, you're also teaching them that there are other methods that can use when you are unhappy about someone's behavior. Is it clear? So they are looking at what is your behavior. I will teach them. Okay? Children make daily judgments of their own life compared to those of their own, of their peers. So they work every day. Okay, today I was uh, 